Um, and hopefully we can all come off by 12.30 and all have some lunch and enjoy the sunshine because I'm, I'm sure it won't take as long as some of my other colleagues, hopefully. <laughs> um, but thank you for taking the time to attend this induction. As um, hopefully most of you are aware, I am the comms manager for Thames Valley Berkshire LEP. Um, I manage all the communications within the LEP from um, business environment, infrastructure and skills programmes. Um, one uh, through two events, um, social media management, public relations, public affairs, e-marketing um, and all the other bits in between. <laughs> um, all that is with internal and external comms um, and I work with a huge variety of partners so I try to catch up with our local authority partners, our colleges, um, government and all the recipients that receive funding from the LEP. Um, so a lot of the comms that you'll see will either be directly um, from the LEP or they will be from our partners. Um, so I'll give you an example. Most recently, um, Digital Gum um, was awarded some community grants funding. They did a press release. I sign it off, include a quote or no quote, depending on how many quotes there already are. And then they will send it out to the media and do the comms. So we will always try and support our recipients of funding in any way we can. Um, quite uh, in the last couple of years, we've been supporting government with their communications. So working with Cabinet Office or DWP, Bayes, um, DIT. Um, at the moment, we're supporting Cabinet with um, its Together for Together for Our Planet campaign, you might have seen. Um, obviously, with the G7 summit um, that's happening. Obviously, the plane that Boris got yesterday is nothing to do with us. Utter madness. I don't know how that PR managed to get through, but anyway. Um, but we are supporting government in all its comms to encourage SMEs to pledge their commitment um, in its race to net zero by 2050. As you would expect, the LEP obviously needs to make that commitment as well. So um, Alison Webster and Abby will be working on that with um, hopefully you, Tracy and Sunil, to see what we can do. Um, and um, we are also supporting Cabinet Office. I see Natasha is on here. Natasha, I don't know why you're here. I think you've done this one before, but welcome. Um, but working with the Growth Hub on the communications for a um, emergency alert. Reading will be pilot piloting an emergency alert run by government um, at the end of the month. So a lot happening that is being directed um, by us uh, through government. So that's kind of a little overview of what um, I do. I thought I would bring up, just so you can see the um, different types of, um, if I can bring it up, the different types of comms that um, is happening in the next couple of months. So I'll just put this on slideshow. Um, so you can see here, May was a very busy month and June is just as busy. Um, you'll see that we do quite a bit with our MP engagement. Um, we also um, promote all our um, infrastructure projects. So that's coming to an end with the local growth fund, but also the getting a building fund, which if you've had a briefing from um, Bill Hicks, you may already be aware of all these. Um, we should hopefully, if the timings are right, be launching a business in Berkshire report. This is an annual report that is put together by DEX um, and hopefully we'll be launching that at the end of June. Um, this tends to go out to our local authorities um, and our business representative organisations 
obviously we do promote it um, to a wider stakeholder group who are interested, but it just kind of gives a really good overview of how bin businesses are faring in the Berkshire area. So it should be quite an interesting read, bearing in mind COVID and um, the EU exit. Um, with our new project, if you've had a briefing from Joanna, you'll be aware of Berkshire Opportunities. So um, we do a lot of comms. We, ha we actually have an agency who supports me um, on the comms. It's a local Wokingham agency called GASP, and they do 80% um, of our comms on Berkshire Opportunities to ensure that resident students, adults um, looking for careers or upskilling, um, courses, apprenticeships, um, Berkshire Opportunities offers a one-stop shop for them to search um, their next career move, really. Um, so that's why we focus on Adult Learners Week. Um, you'll see previously we focused on um, the skills report, adult learning. We'll focus on um, results in August and September, well, predominantly August, but, you know, people who might have to go through clearing, etc. will we'll move into September. Um, I'll just pick out a couple of other things really for me personally, really exciting. Um, we have um, appointed a photographer to take professional photos of all our LEP projects. Um, this is something I've been at the LEP for eight years now, and it's something I've asked for every single year. And Alison has kindly granted this to me. So it'd be really fantastic to have our own photography of all our LEP projects to showcase on our website, our socials and predominantly to, to government. Um, I will just, if it allows me to, there we go. Um, summer looks slightly um, less daunting, thankfully, because I am on holiday for two weeks in August, camping, God forbid, fingers crossed for the weather. Um, but we do have a skills event, which will, is being um, promoted as of end of play today. Um, this is wrong. It's not on the 19th. It is actually on the 20th of July between 2 and 3.30. It is an event that is targeted to businesses who want to have a say in what kind of skills colleges and schools need to provide um, the future workforce. So one session will um, focus on digital skills, another one on net zero, we will have the careers and enterprise company team, um, so that's Alison Giles and her team, focusing on how businesses can engage with schools and their careers programme. And the fourth one is still being decided on, but we will have four sessions for um, educational institutions, businesses, um, anybody else who would like to attend. It's obviously virtual, so we can have from 50 to a thousand people attend and we're just working up a list of speakers, but it should be a really engaging. We, do, we don't want to talk to um, the audience. We want it to be a really engaging event. Um, so hopefully you will um, be able to attend if you can. There will be a save the date being issued later this afternoon. Um, one of the big things that within comms that we do, and this is stipulated by government, but obviously it's good practice for any business to do, is a delivery plan which um, looks forward on what the LEP will be delivering and an impact report, which um, most companies obviously um, focus as an annual report. Uh, the reason why we call it an impact report is because we actually um, the report shows what we have, where and when we have made the most impact within Berkshire. Um, coming into September, it starts to look really busy again, mostly on our skills projects. Um, so that's ranging from our skills capital projects, but also um, getting building funds um, and some really, really great projects there. As you can see, there's the electric and hybrid vehicle training centre opening up. Um, we've got the supporting growth in agricultural skills, renewable uh, resources training facility. We're actually hoping that um, the 
green, it's actually blue, but the green tour bus from government um, with regards to this race to net zero. I will stipulate that we have checked that the bus is hybrid. Uh, I don't know whether that's better or worse, don't, don't really know, but at least it's not diesel. Um, that is going across the UK, up and down the UK to showcase um, what key areas um, in the UK are doing for net zero. We need, to, as a LEP, we need to pitch um, as to why the bus should stop in Berkshire. And as you can imagine, we're going to really push all these different um, facilities opening in our colleges, but also some of our key businesses that we have supported through the Growth Hub that could talk about what um, they're doing through their supply chain, but also um, within their business um, for that race to net zero. So quite a big event happening in September. Obviously, from a government perspective, there's also party conference season. We don't get involved in that, but it's just quite quite nice to know when that's taking place. Um, October, so we don't have a date. Uh, we do have date, apologies. It is the forum meeting, but this will be our AGM. Um, we had an AGM earlier this year, but that was our delayed AGM from last year because the date that we picked for AGM was actually the day Boris announced lockdown. So as you can imagine, AGM was no go. There were better things for other people to be getting on with. So the AGM is now our um, 2021 AGM. So looking at what we've done um, this year. Um, it will probably be a virtual AGM, but with our speakers actually at Green Park live streaming. So it will still have that feel of attending an AGM. We should also be um, relaunching our website. Um, the last time we updated <coughs> our website was four years ago. So we're looking to refresh the website um, with regards to the LEP review, which obviously you are all aware of. Um, in November, um, COP26 is happening. Um, as you may know, Alok Sharma is one of our MPs in Berkshire. So obviously we're really trying to speak to him. I mean, we won't get anything um, near to what other organisations are doing for COP26, but obviously we will complement it as much as we can in November. I should, sorry, I should have mentioned in September we will be launching, or July, sorry, we should be launching um, the net zero report that the LEP is currently pulling together. So from July onwards, we will obviously be referencing um, the net zero report and providing that to Alok as well, who is the president of COP26. Um, we have got in December the LEP's 10 year anniversary. So there will be um, quite a lot of comms around that, focusing on what the LEP has achieved um, the last 10 years. Um, we are also pulling together a bespoke logo for the 10 year anniversary. And if government allows for um, probably still uh, social distancing, um, a photo of um, the whole LEP team um, to just showcase how we have um, evolved since we were um, incorporated 10 years ago. And then just going into 2022, obviously not a lot happening yet. I'm sure that will um, change quite rapidly, but we will be focusing on our sector propositions. We currently have three sector propositions um, which are on our website. We haven't updated those in quite a few years, so they definitely need a refresh. And then March will be our big push um, for International Women's Day um, with a couple of events, campaigns, etc. Um, this year it was quite successful. We've had, we had some fantastic um, thought leadership pieces from our board members, um, Jacinta and Sarah. So obviously we want to make it even bigger next year with um, some case studies, thought leadership, um, and we'll see what happens, obviously, with Sarah Atkinson's um, diversity and inclusion strategy, which she presented to the board on Tuesday. 
So that's as far as I've gone with um, my comms timeline. But as you can see, quite, quite broad, quite a lot going on. Um, I'm delighted, Sunil and Tracy, that you've been able to join today. Thank you for um, approving your um, quote, Tracy. Um, Sunil, when you've got a moment, that'd be great. Obviously, there's lots of ad hoc comms that, that takes place. So when we have new appointments, um, whether that be on the board or forum or staff, we're um, really delighted to announce that we'll have two new staff members joining um, in the summer, one in the comms team and one in uh, supporting Susan Jones with her research, um, sorry, not research, her project management um, data analysis. So, um, and fantastically, they are both in the 19 to 25 category group. So Dex, more power to the young people within the LEP. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Um, we also have a LEP picnic um, coming up on the 1st of July, which will probably be the first time in over a year that we have all got together. So really nice that we'll be able to, to see some, some faces um, in, the, in the flesh. And we also have, this has been driven by Sue from the CC team and Abby, a Andram um, group which I think they did one of their first um, not performances but get togethers yesterday which went very very well. Um, Dex I think your presence was missed after our fantastic um, Christmas event where we did a um, oh what did we do it was a murder mystery that was it a murder mystery so we're hoping a few more people will attend the next one in three weeks because apparently it was an absolute hoot and we all need to sometimes just down tools and have a laugh as well. Um, I didn't go yesterday, I was in back to back meetings, but I'm definitely putting it in my diary next time. Not that I am Amdram at all, <laughs> but <laughs> anything for a bit of a um, bit of a change. All I would ask from you all, I will ask, I'll um, do Q and A's afterwards, but I will send you a bit of a one pager pack on comms. But if you could subscribe to our e-update via the website, we issue an e-update once a month, which includes all types of information that is from the Growth Hub, um, from our partners, case studies, from anything from government, good news stories. Uh, for example, we recently won an award for our um, Thames Valley Berkshire um, Smart City project, which is all about eco rewards within Berkshire. So really fantastic to be able to shout about an award that we have won. Um, so that has so much content that you're also able to copy and paste put in your Twitter feed, in your LinkedIn posts. Um, if you could follow the LEP on social media, that would be fantastic, as well as the Growth Hub, Berkshire Scale Up and Berkshire Opportunities. I will send all the links on email. I don't expect you to research all of those yourselves. Um, and really just spread the message. There is so much content um, on our socials. If you just want to do a simple retweet or a copy and paste um, job on a LinkedIn post, but also share your experience. Um, if you've attended a board meeting or you've met a, cu a, a customer or a partner that you're working with, um, Add it, add it as a post, really short post on LinkedIn, um, tag the lab, I can pick that up. And it's just a really great way of sharing what we're doing to um, our audience. And hopefully that will increase our followers, increase our engagement. Um, so that's it for me. I think I've, I've probably bored you all, <laughs> but any questions? Just, uh, just uh, one, Margot. Um, of course. Uh, you talked about working with a small agency in Wokingham. Have you introduced yes. the Growth Hub to them? Are they are they working with us at all? So they're, they're not at the moment. They work with us um, for Berkshire Opportunities. So Berkshire Opportunities currently has a, a contract with them, which is funded by um, the local authorities and the colleges. Um, but I can absolutely 
It's, it's quite a tricky one, Matthew. Um, GASP came on board to support me this year due to workload. We just had so, so much. And um, just, just to be very open, their contract will come to an end in December. Yeah, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't thinking of contracting with them. We've got no. Tony and Jeff here who can give them some fantastic advice about how to grow their business. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> Particularly when yeah, their contract well, finishes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Particularly if they're having, they're having to deal with some local authority kind of arrangement where they can't get the contract squared up. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, happy to put them in touch. Um, they're they're a great agency. They um, they used to they're a husband and wife, and they've actually grown their business twofold in the last eighteen months during the pandemic, which is absolutely brilliant. You know, bringing on more designers. Gra uh, graphic designers, PR people, etc., um, and social media professionals as well. Um, but it, it's unfortunate we won't be able to, from a LEP capacity, to carry on working with them. But um, they're, they're a really great agency to be aware of. So, so I think yeah, so we're a great set of advisors as well. So I think we need to uh, we need to get Tony or Jeff talking to them then. We yes. also we can also offer them a listing on our marketplace directory on the Grape Hub website. Yeah, as well. that'd be great. Oh, rats! I forgot that, Natasha. I was looking good there for a minute. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> That's all right. You're doing you're doing pretty well, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, if there's nothing else, um, what I will say is obviously what what we try and what what I try and do with with our public relations, um, so speaking with the media is. We don't have everything fall on um, Alison as our CEO to be the spokesperson. We really like to use our board and forum. <laughs> so as I've mentioned, we've used Jacinta and um, Sarah quite often. We use Dom as well on behalf of Buckshaw Opportunities, Bob Mountain for our infrastructure projects, um, and really a host, uh, Catherine Haller as our chair of the Skills Advisory Panel. So we don't, we try not to focus on just achieving that one single spokesperson. Um, so Tracy and Sunil, I really hope that I'll be able to um, come to you for quotes and um, thought leadership pieces as we move on with our net zero agenda. Um, so yeah. Thank you. Thank wow. you. It really helped. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Margot. That was really saying, informative. Thank you. Um, I will thank send you, you an email with all those links because I don't want you to spend um, any time trying to search for us. And then if you could just do a quick follow, um, even um, change your, and you've probably done these, mm. so apologies, but if you could change your LinkedIn, um, not change, add to your LinkedIn profile that you are a board director or you work for, um, you work with the LEP, etc. That's another boost um, for um, followers to, to have. So anything you can do um, to promote us, that would be fantastic. And if you have any questions, um, I do work part time, but I do try and answer um, emails um, within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Very good. Great. Thank you very much, everyone. Sure. Really enjoyable. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.